Germany in the 1930s was a nation in turmoil. Emerging from the devastation of World War I, the Weimar Republic faced unprecedented challenges that would ultimately lead to its downfall and the rise of one of history's most infamous dictatorships. But how did a democratic republic transform into a totalitarian regime under the Nazis? The answer lies in the Enabling Act of 1933. The Weimar Republic, established in 1919 after Germany's defeat in World War I, was an ambitious attempt to create a democratic government. However, from its inception, it was plagued by economic hardship and political instability. Severe economic issues, including hyperinflation and the Great Depression, eroded public confidence in democratic institutions. Extremist parties, like the National Socialist German Workers' Party or the Nazi Party, exploited this discontent. Led by Adolf Hitler, the Nazis promised to restore Germany's pride, revitalize the economy, and eliminate perceived threats, particularly from communists and Jews. Their rise to power was marked by propaganda and violent tactics that further destabilized the Weimar Republic. On February 27, 1933, the Reichstag, Germany's parliament building, was set ablaze. The Nazis blamed this act on communist conspirators, using the incident to justify the Reichstag fire decree, which suspended civil liberties and allowed for the arrest of political opponents. With opposition silenced, the Nazis pushed for the Enabling Act, which would grant Hitler and his cabinet the power to enact laws without Reichstag approval. Through a combination of coercion and intimidation, they secured the necessary votes. The Enabling Act passed on March 23, 1933, marking the end of the Weimar Republic and the beginning of Hitler's dictatorship. This act provided a legal framework for the Nazis to reshape German society and governance. With the Enabling Act in place, the Nazis moved quickly to consolidate power. They banned political parties, dissolved trade unions, and established a one-party state. The concept of Gleichschaltung, or coordination, brought all aspects of society under Nazi control. New laws targeted Jews, political opponents, and other marginalized groups. The Nuremberg Laws of 1935 institutionalized racial discrimination and laid the groundwork for the Holocaust. The judiciary, meant to check executive power, was co-opted into the Nazi system. Special courts bypassed traditional legal processes, ensuring swift punishment for regime enemies. The Enabling Act provided a veneer of legality for the Nazi regime, both domestically and internationally. Propaganda portrayed Hitler as a strong leader, restoring order and national pride. Internationally, the regime initially maintained diplomatic relations, presenting itself as a legitimate government. This illusion of legality facilitated their expansionist policies with little immediate opposition. However, the long-term consequences were catastrophic. The legal framework enabled the systematic persecution and genocide of millions, underscoring the regime's moral depravity despite its legal veneer. The history of the Weimar Republic and the rise of the Nazis offer crucial lessons for modern democracies. Democratic systems can be vulnerable to internal subversion, particularly through the manipulation of legal mechanisms. In the United States, we face similar challenges today. Political polarization, economic inequality, and attacks on democratic norms threaten the stability of our system. Vigilance and active defense of democratic principles are essential. Preventative measures include ensuring judicial independence, protecting election integrity, and maintaining a free press. Civic education fosters an informed electorate that can recognize and resist authoritarian tendencies. The transformation of Germany from a republic to a dictatorship under the Nazi regime is a stark reminder of how fragile democracy can be. The Enabling Act of 1933 dismantled democracy under the guise of legality, leading to immense human suffering. By learning from history, we can better protect our democratic institutions today. The defense of democracy requires constant vigilance and a collective commitment to democratic values. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stand up for democracy. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more historical insights and analyses.